Hello friends, I am your friend Chetan Bhola and you are watching Bhola Moto. In this video, we will be discussing about a really nice topic that is variable compression ratio engines. So, in this video, you are going to learn a lot of things, the basic concepts behind this variable compression ratio, what are the benefits, why they are doing this and a lot of good stuff in this video. So, please keep watching this video till the end and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe it right now because I make these kind of videos regularly on my channel. So variable compression ratio, the compression ratio is going to be varied. So first of all, I would like to tell you what is compression ratio. Compression ratio is the change in volume, is the ratio of the change in volume. I, I would like to give you the first of all the mathematical formula, the Vs plus Vc upon Vc. So the Vs is the full stroke volume and Vc is the com combustion chamber volume and again Vc is the combustion chamber volume. So whenever the piston is at BDC in the lowest position, the, the whole volume above is, is, is the fresh air fuel mixture inside the cylinder. And uh, this is the total volume. Total volume is Vs that is the stroke length volume and also the combustion chamber volume. And when the piston goes up to TDC, there is only the combustion chamber volume. So this amount of gases are compressed to this amount of gases. So this is the compression ratio, the volume of this upon volume of this. So this is the compression ratio in most of the time in the gasoline engines of bikes uh, or normally of the car, the bikes uh, of the the bikes are having about nine of the compression ratio, and some cars are having uh, eleven or uh, eleven or twelve of the com compression ratio. In diesels, the compression ratio is different. Uh, we will be talking about diesels later on sometime, but uh, as of now, we are talking about the petrol engines only. Now. The variable, uh, the compression ratio is set according to the HUCR value. HUCR is the highest useful compression ratio. So every vehicle is designed for a particular weight, particular load uh, that can be uh, that can be put it on that vehicle. So uh, because it is quite difficult to uh, to make a vehicle, make an engine uh, flexible for each and every load. Uh, so what they did is they just uh, uh, fix the load and the passengers number of passengers or you can say the conditions they fix the conditions and then decide the compression ratio so as of bike they they comes to the compression ratio of 8.5 or 9 so bef uh, so what according to their the load that they have taken so let us assume uh, they are using x um, x newton of the force which is the load on the engine so if uh, the compression ratio comes out to be 8 or 9 uh, then they fix the uh, combustion uh, compression ratio of that uh, engine to 8 but uh, if the load because load is not going to be same for all the time if you are traveling with a single a single passenger on a bike then the load is less if you are taking three passengers on a single bike then the load is more so this is how the load varies if you are traveling on a slope if you are riding on a slope then the uh, then the uh, the load is going to be increased so this is how the load is acting on a on an engine so that's why uh, there uh, the, the load is varying so fixing a compression ratio is not going to work because at at uh, higher loads you are you are required to have lower compression ratio this is because because if you are using a higher compression ratio at higher loads what is going to happen is the the fuel, air fuel mixture is going to knock so I have made a video on knock why it occurs so please keep, keep you can watch that video so at lower load you can use the higher higher compression ratio because uh, so as to churn out the maximum power from that uh, air fuel mixture present in the com combustion chamber so this uh, there comes the idea of using a variable compression ratio because uh, at lower load if it, it it if it is somehow possible that you can decrease the compression ratio then you can you are able to reduce the chances of knocking and on the other hand if the load is low then if you are somehow uh, able to increase the compression ratio then you are able to churn out the maximum power from that fuel so this is uh, uh, the basic concept behind the variable compression ratio engines there are several six methods of uh, doing the variable compression ratios but i am not going to explain the, those uh, those methods in this video i will be making uh, the video about the methods on next friday you can watch that video on the next friday so please uh, be sure that you uh, please be sure that you are going to watch that video because if uh, you got to know about those methods then it it is uh, it it will be like uh, great knowledge for you because uh, there are very innovative methods by which they are going to change the compression ratios.
now coming to why compression ratio what are the benefits of these so benefits i have enlisted in the benefits so first of all the less knocking the chances of the knocking is very less because at higher load you are going to reduce the compression ratio uh, intelligently then uh, uh, at lower compression ratio the knocking chances are very less and the second thing is the optimum power you are going to get the optimum power because at lower load you are increasing the uh, increasing the compression and uh, turning out the most of the power and uh, at high compression ratio at high load you are not going to waste your energy on the knocking so hence again you are getting more energy from the same air fuel mixture now the third point is a smooth acceleration because the acceleration is smooth because whenever you are on the perfect compression ratio then the acceleration that you are going to get is going to be perfect so uh, other thing is the thermal efficiency that you are going to get uh, from this uh, um, because at uh, if you at lower load you are increasing the compression ratio uh, then you are going to get more thermal efficiency other thing is the emissions are going to uh, decrease because uh, as you are getting uh, your combustion process is going to be done completely then the emissions are obviously getting to uh, are obviously going to reduce reduction of knock this is a big topic because uh, this is a big thing because knock reduction is a major thing that uh, that are that is required always whenever you talk about the emissions uh, the knock is something which forms at high temperatures and high pressures most of the time this knock is produced whenever the knocking takes place inside the engine whenever the knocking takes place uh, the temperature reaches a peak temperature and the pressure reaches the peak uh, peak pressure so there comes the production of the knock gases since the chance of the knocking is already reduced so that's why the high peak temperature is not going to take place peak pressure is not going to take place so that's how it is not going to produce knock gases so uh, this is something like you are always on the hucr value because hucr value is the highest useful compression ratio compression ratio should be always as high as possible but somehow what is happening because if you are using the very high compression ratio and uh, if somehow the load load is increased then the knocking of the fuel is going to take place and also if you are using the compression ratio lower than that of uh, limit then the efficiency is going to reduce and the fuel is not going to burn completely because it is not going to get the appropriate temperature so the hucr that is highest useful compression ratio is varying every time whenever the load is varying so that's why you are not uh, that that's why you should not fix the compression ratio because the, if you are fixing the compression ratio you are fixing the load which uh, engine can uh, take uh, at the maximum efficiency so that's why hucr should be variable uh, and the compression ratio of your engine should be variable so there comes the concept of variable compression ratio engine now talking about when the compression ratio increased mean effective pressure also increases because whenever the uh, whenever the compression ratio is increased the fuel is going to burn very properly and hence producing more power and more pressure since power is directly proportional to uh, mean effective pressure then the power is also going to increase since torque is directly proportional to power because power uh, p is equal to 2 pi and t by 60 so there t is the torque since torque is directly proportional to the power so that's why power as the power increases torque is also going to increase thermal efficiency is also going to increase because you are churning out the maximum power from the air fuel mixture fuel consumption decreases as the thermal efficiency increases so fuel consumption obviously decreases so this is all about the basic concepts of the variable compression ratio why we are using the variable compression ratio how it is going to benefit our engine so i think these are the things that are going to help you whenever you are going to read about the variable compression ratio because it is a field of research these days most of the companies are going to invest their time in the variable compression ratio because it is going to be the future of the ic engine so i guess you got to learn a lot of things about the variable compression ratio engine if you like this video please share this video to your friends if you have any doubts and any queries you can please ask me in the comment section below you can ask me on facebook quora or instagram i am going to reply as soon as possible for me so please if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe it right now because it helps me it motivates me a lot and thanks all guys for watching keep watching keep sharing keep supporting and keep loving guys <music>